Now at six, two Target 12 investigations, beginning with a Target 12 exclusive. We've learned a prominent Providence jeweler has been charged in a large-scale marijuana trafficking operation. Joseph Esposito was caught in an undercover state police and DEA probe. And court documents show investigators used thermal imaging cameras to detect a marijuana farm inside a Providence jewelry company. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live with the exclusive findings. Tim. Mike and Shannon, court documents show the tip to police came from an unnamed confidential informant, leading to a five-month undercover investigation. 225 DuPont Drive in Providence, the location of Esposito Jewelry, a manufacturer of popular jewelry that used to appear on the QVC shopping network. But investigators say inside was a large marijuana grow operation. Court records show earlier this month they seized evidence, including 126 marijuana plants, four tubs of marijuana oil, and tens of thousands in cash. Police say the Esposito building had an electric bill of more than $10,000 for just one month. By comparison, a neighboring building had a bill of just $262. Investigators used thermal imaging cameras and detected hot spots consistent with sources of heat used to cultivate marijuana. On November 6th, 71-year-old Joseph Esposito was arrested and charged with nine felony counts, including drug conspiracy and manufacturing and possession with intent to deliver. Esposito was released on $5,000 bond. A company named Ocean State Cannabis Therapy uses the jewelry manufacturer's address, but it is unclear if Esposito has any stake in it. His attorney declined to comment. Documents show Esposito's east side home was searched by police and a Jaguar sedan was seized. His Narragansett home was also searched. Esposito is well known in jewelry and politics, donating tens of thousands to primarily Democratic state and federal candidates. Esposito is the cousin of House Majority Leader Joseph Shikarchi, who also handled some minor legal work for the jewelry company. Shikarchi tells me if Esposito is convicted, he will donate the $4,300 in campaign donations he received to charity. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.